Alright, so today we're going to truss a chicken, and there's many different ways to truss a chicken. I'm going to show you the best way. And what you want to do is you want to get a, a piece of string about four feet long. That's uh, the length of my arm, actually. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, that's going to give a little excess. I'm going to grab the string right in the middle, right there. I'm going to reach over the top with the breast side toward you, and I'm going to wrap around the neck, just like, just like on the top of the neck, like that. Then I'm going to pull it back toward me. Then I'm going to open this up, which enables me to bring the string up through the legs, behind the wings and through the legs. I come through here, and then I bring it up here, and then I'm just going to tie a regular granny knot, just like that. When I do that, this is the best, this is what makes it the best of the trussing of the chicken is the fact that the breast comes up. So you want to make sure you get the legs underneath the breast, and you want to really pull, really pull. We call this the Victoria's Secret method of trussing a chicken, because it kind of brings the breasts right out there and makes it look plump later on. And then what you do is flip it over, do another little granny knot, and then be end where you began, right at the neck, right back here. When you do that, you just kind of want to do a double knot and finish up to another one so it doesn't come loose later on. Then you go ahead and just cut that off. Then what we want to do is we want to keep these wings intact as well. And the reason why we're trussing is because of the fact that we want to keep everything together so that it cooks evenly, right? What we're going to do is we're going to actually lift that bottom string that comes through and just tuck our elbows right in between there. See that, how we're doing that? We do that on both sides. So the elbows go just go tuck right in there. And then what happens is you flip it back over and then you can take these wing tips, which burn very easily, and tuck those right in, in there. So we have a perfectly trussed chicken. And then it's nice and trusty. You can sear it now. You can baste it now. You can do whatever you want.